everybody, welcome to this week's video. Today we're gonna focus on the technique of the hundreds. Uh, I love the hundreds because it's such a lovely way to warm up our spine and keep our lungs healthy um, and warm up our whole body, really. Uh, but I wanna talk about just a couple of things that um, can make the hundreds less efficient. One of those things is rounding forward too far with your, bot, with your forehead and your head and tucking the tail too much. This is really meant to be a long lifted exercise. When we're inhaling, we wanna think about expanding the ribs wide. So we really wanna think of pushing the ribs out to the side and also towards the back so that to the shape of that diaphragm. So I wanna do something like this, big breath in, wide through the ribs. Then when I exhale, I'm not gonna shorten my body, I'm gonna keep it long and just pull those ribs in towards the spine. The problem I see a lot of times are people sort of tucking their pelvis and their head to kind of get more of an abdominal exercise out of it. If your spine is long, you will certainly be working those abdominals, abdominals in the right way. Okay, so let's lie on the mat. I'm gonna talk about the position here. We'll start with the pelvis. So when I'm lying down, I wanna make sure not to tuck my pelvis this direction. Okay. When I'm doing that, all I'm going to do is push my uh, lower back into the mat, or really my bones. I want to use my stomach muscles to push my lower back down. So we want to keep that pelvis neutral. Then when I'm in my head position, I want to make sure that I'm not coming up super high, because it's really hard to pull your stomach in when you're lifted that high. You really want to think of pulling, dropping your chin and then lifting up long so that it's more like this position. Now that is more advanced. Most of the very advanced bodies can do that. For our not so advanced clientele, we're gonna take those legs a little bit higher. And when we breathe, we're gonna keep that neck long. So I'm just gonna do a sample of one first. So maybe they're here, making sure they're not tucking. They're long through the pelvis. The back of the leg is squeezed together. We're going to take a big breath in, pulling back on the chin. You may see that the, my face is heating up and looking a bit red. That is because I'm actually creating, with the stomach muscles, interabdominal pressure, which helps create circulation through my body. Mr. Pilates talked about the bellows of a fire, trying to do this, putting oxygen on the fire so it really revs up. That's what we're doing with our lungs. So it's really important to take that wide breath in and exhale, contract. So make sure you don't curl the body up too high because then it's impossible to get your breath in. And that's super important. Thanks for joining me today for the hundreds. I hope you heat up like I do. I love this exercise. Make sure you don't jet that neck forward, pull that chin in. It's not pretty, but it's the best position for your neck. Thanks a lot, we'll see you next week.